Sports. It's state quarterfinals for high school girls basketball, and teams are looking to punch their ticket to the Breslin Center. First up in Division One, looking for their first trip to East Lansing, are the Grand Blank Bobcats. Grand Blank took on Rochester Hills, Stony Creek. The Bobcats are going to move the ball around and find Park Liggins wide open in the corner, and she splashes in a triple. Grand Blank now looking to drive here, and Chelsea Bishop is going to get the handoff, and she takes it to the rim. She gets it to go for two, finishing with a game high 19 points. Park Liggins now showing some moves here with a crossover, putting up a pretty floater that's nothing but net. And for the first time ever in program history, Grand Blank is headed to the Breslin Center with a win tonight, 49 to 27. It feels amazing watching those last seconds count down. It was just a feeling that I wanted for a while then to make it to the Breslin. First team to ever do it in Grand Blank history. It's something amazing. It's going to mean a lot, especially with the girls that we got to do it with, especially with a new coaching staff coming in. It feels just amazing. Like, it seems impossible because of how we started off, but we made it. Now to Division 4 where the Kingston Cardinals took on more and see the Cardinals defense was strong tonight. They're going to get the steal here and take it up court. Molly Walker is going to get the ball under the rim, making the spin move to get open for the easy basket. Now on the inbound, Gracie Walker gets the pass, the defense, and it goes off the backboard for a quick two points for Kingston. The Cardinals now taking their time. Molly Walker looks and decides to fire a deep three-pointer, and that's nothing but net. Kingston would go on to win it 36 to 21, and will be playing in the semifinals at the Breslin Center. Over now to Division Two, where undefeated Goodrich took on Detroit Edison. The Martians moving around quickly, allowing the senior Alexis Kosmowski to find some space to drop in the triple. Now some great defense from Goodrich, forcing the ball loose. That's a turnover as Lucy Rafferty is going to take her time, looking for the right moment, and then drives to the bucket to bounce this one in for the layup. But Detroit Edison was also playing impressive defense tonight. Mina Cooksey is going to get the steal and the basket. And Goodrich's undefeated season ends in the quarterfinals as Detroit Edison wins it 50 to 33. I told those girls it's been an, a fantastic season. Um, they are they're wonderful kids that are some of the, the closest teammates I've ever I've ever had the opportunity to coach who really love each other and, and love playing together and, and play for each other. And um, we had a great season. And rounding things out in Division 3, New Lothrop took on Ypsilanti Arbor Prep. First quarter, Lily Bruff taking it to Ashlyn Orr. Fights through the defense to get her shot to fall. Now some great passing here from the Hornets. Orr is going to find Kelsey Coleman wide open on the baseline. Cut, easy money there from Coleman. Second quarter, Caitlin Wendling. Wendling is going to take it herself. Gets to the lane for the layup for New Lothrop. The Hornets now going to find Izzy Houslip. And she gets this one from long range, and Izzy buries the triple. New Lothrop led by three at the half, but the Gators fought back. Stacy Utomi, nice move for the layup. Arbor Prep would come back in the second half to take down New Lothrop tonight, 38-34.